Flight is from Mahi to Mali. It's connecting two paradises. And if you look over there, you can see the sunrise. The announcement was made. We're starting top of the sand. Coming down 27,000 feet. Good morning from the Air Seychelles A320 Neo. The flight is from Mahi to Mali, that is from Seychelles to Maldives, connecting two paradise. Hi, good morning. My name is Nicole. I'm the captain today on the flight from Seychelles to Mali. Our flight number is uh, Seychelles uh, 126. And today I'm flying uh, with the uh, first officer Russell. Our flight to Mali today is going to be two hours and uh, 53 minutes. As soon as we leave this uh, runway, we're basically over the ocean and we'll see land when we cross the other runway threshold at Mali. Oh, mostly the people that come from Seychelles are going to um, uh, Maldives. It's mostly maybe people with businesses in Maldives that live in the Seychelles. Welcome on board, madam. Also, maybe it's because of the uh, COVID situation and now that we have some flights going out, the people, they take the opportunity for a small break. Which one you prefer more, Seychelles or Maldives? Seychelles. Well, I guess Maldives, I enjoy just untouching the stingrays and feeding them, I guess. I have the pancake, please. Cheese omelette. I mean, the tea short, short yeah? Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, we're good. Thank you. Yes. How many sugar would you like, sir? Uh, just one sugar, yeah. Just one sugar. Oh, I actually asked for pancake in the menu. Oh, interesting. They gave me the uh, omelette with chicken kebab. Anyway, I'm hungry. I can eat them all.
from England? Yeah, and ah. um, we came to the Seychelles on a holiday and then all well, the borders closed. So we ended up staying um, and now we can't go back home because if we go back home from the Seychelles, um, we'll have to pay £1,750 per person to be escorted to a prison hotel for 10 days. So it makes more sense to fly to a greenless country um, and pay the money there and then go home. So it's kind of annoying because we miss home. How many days are you going to spend in uh, Maldives? Um, 12 days. That's a lot of expense. Yes. Oh my god, I just uh, slept after the meal and I was so sleepy. Um, we're just about half an hour now, the announcement was made, we're starting top of descent. Coming down 27,000 feet and we've just been advised by air traffic control that after position escort, we're to track to TCAL for the approach. Uh, the holding is to be expected into Mali Airport, especially because there is only one runway that is operational and any traffic landing on runway 36, which is what we will be landing on today, have to back um, taxi all the way to the end of the runway into the turning pad and then backtrack the entire three point uh, something kilometer runway to the parking stand. So the backtrack is obviously quite slow because you have to do it at taxi speed as well. So it takes about 10 minutes to backtrack. So as you can see now, we have the holding pattern up on the screen. That's what's been serving. And uh, we have the autopilot flying, so the autopilot will just enter the holding pattern and uh, track the green line uh, as we come back on the end. airport in the world now probably in about 10 minutes I have to go to the toilet <laughs> so expecting around uh, 0, 5, 4, 5. it will be the final understood expected approach time now 0, 5, uh, 4, 5. Seychelles 126 I just heard you hear another aircraft to position TCAL confirm it is still runway 18 in operation for Seychelles 126 please take uh, the aircraft land runway 36 around the zero six hundred somewhere so it will be land runway one eight.
50, 40, 30, 20. Retard, retard, drive. We're finally on the ground in Mali about an hour and 10 minutes uh, after our initial time of arrival so that was a lot of holding. First officer did a wonderful approach and landing so well done Russ, nice one. Thank you. Bye. Can we see the pilot? Sure. Oh, coming, coming, It's really hot today in Maldives. It just feels like burning here. Uh, the guys work really hard to load the bags, try to save some time. Welcome to Maldives. Uh, you can see from uh, from my right side our main apron, and uh, on, uh, behind uh, you can see Maldivian taxi in right now. The apron was full, so we had to wait for actually three more aircraft to depart, and then all the uh, incoming arrivals we could accommodate. So that was the main reason for the delay today. Around uh, 149 passengers, so it's quite good. So guys, we're on a quick transit in uh, the Maldives and uh, basically all that requires is for the engineer to quickly check the aircraft, uh, uplift the fuel, make sure everything is uh, clear and the first officer also went for the walk around. So we've signed the tech log, I've just accepted the aircraft now and we should be departing as soon as we get our passengers on board. This must be my happiest day here working at Velana International, uh, witnessing an A380 landing here for the first time in the Maldives. We are hoping to see the new terminal opening in 2022. We are still looking at the single runway operation here in the Maldives, so um, if we are going to depart on runway 18, we do expect to have to backtrack the entire runway as there is no taxiway to take you to the end of the runway and to start your takeoff roll. So we are waiting for a tow truck. We're number three for the tow truck, we have been advised. We had a true tow truck, but then it just disappeared and now I saw it uh, with an, uh, pushing back another aircraft, so we don't really know what's happening. We just want the lottery, we got a tow truck! <laughs> I told the passengers that once we get the tow truck, and that once it's connected, we're going to be going. And now of course we're still waiting, and I'm pretty sure the passengers are saying, Mad woman, what was she lying about? We can't see if we want three, one way three, six for departure. What's the wind? Yeah. One nine zero zero five. Three six. 
different from her but yet again we speak the same language we adopt the same culture my mom and dad used to like taking me to the small islands in the Seychelles for holidays so especially to Prale and of course we would go on these small aircraft on the Twin Otter and that is how I absolutely fell in love with uh, flying with aviation and I always wanted to fly the Otter so after school, obviously, I went and did my license and that is how I started my career. I flew the Twin Otter, I flew the Islander, and then I got promoted, obviously, to the international fleet where I've flown the Boeing 767, and then uh, the Air Airbus 330, and now the 320neo. You already know that Seychelles is so isolated in the Indi Indian Ocean. We're right in the middle, about four degrees south of the equator. Um, there's not many places around us. I think the closest land mass is about 800 miles away. So actually most of our flying that we do at Air Seychelles is ETOPS. And here on the A320neo we have 180 minutes uh, ETOPS. So going back to Seychelles today, like uh, we're about to enter the Seychelles airspace. Our destination alternate today is uh, Norsi Bay, which is a very small island in the northwestern part of Madagascar. And uh, that is about one hour and 50 minutes away from uh, Mahe, from the Seychelles. So if we cannot land on Mahe, the diversion would take us uh, one hour 50 minutes to get to the alternate. Which is a fairly long distance, because normally we're talking maybe about 20 minutes to an alternate, or 30 minutes. Thanks guys. 
welcome to Seychelles. We've just arrived. Um, it's been a really, really long day and uh, hopefully we see you on one of our Air Seychelles flights very, very soon. It would be awesome for you to travel on our A320, but best of all, island hopping on the Twin Otters. So have a lovely day. Thank you. And thanks to the crew. For myself also, thank you very much. This is just so fantastic. Little private beach, nobody's around and it feels like out of the world. <laughs>